people see fashion as being very glamorous and a lot of fun and you wear nice clothes and go to parties. That's great, but you also have to earn a living in it and that's a lot more difficult than it seems, right? My name is Glenn Baxter. I'm a journalist specializing in fashion and design and I'm also the um, founding chair and host of the annual Right to Play Ball, which is a major fundraiser in Toronto for an NGO called Right to Play, which improves the lives of children through games, sport and play in, 30, in 20 countries around the world. For years I worked um, as an arts and entertainment reporter on air, and then for over a decade I moved from arts and entertainment to fashion. And when the CRTC approved the Fashion Television Channel, I thought, this is exciting because uh, at the station, that was the brand that I admired most. It was an internationally recognized show seen in over 100 countries. And I really loved the team uh, behind it and the work they were doing. And I thought, okay, you know, this is what I'd love to do. And then uh, a year later, I was given my own show and uh, traveled all over the world, covered uh, fashion and uh, contemporary architecture and design here in Canada, but also around the world. Uh, it was a great opportunity and, I, and because of that, I'm still able to, uh, to contribute to, to Canadian fashion and fashion around the world. I've always enjoyed uh, traveling uh, and not the five-star kind. Uh, I, I've always enjoyed backpacking. When I graduated from Ryerson, I took a, a year off and I traveled around the Mediterranean. And every year after that, I've gone on an annual month-long trip to Asia or Africa with my camera. and. Uh, a few years into it, the, the pictures started to get better. With my clothing sponsor at the time, Hugo Boss, I did my first uh, photo exhibition. Um, it was uh, for CANFAR, the Canadian Foundation for AIDS Research. And then that annual photography event um, evolved into a major charity event here in Toronto called the Right to Play Ball. And it was always in an effort to raise money for various charities and most uh, recently Right to Play. I'm a morning uh, television show junkie, so I'll get it up in the morning, have a protein shake. I, I'm also a caffeine junkie. And I watch morning television and I kind of like edit my own show by the end of it. So I'll, if I don't like a segment on one show, I'll change channels and by the end of it I feel like I've uh, created and edited my own uh, television show every morning. And then I'm on the computer and I'm, I'm going through emails and figuring out what I need to do that particular day. I ended up uh, staying in Toronto. It was never planned that way. So I lived my, my, the first half of my life in Montreal and the second half here in Toronto. It's the, the financial, cultural, uh, industrial centre of Canada. It's where you have the biggest population and we've had and enjoyed tremendous growth over the last few years. Uh, from this terrace we can easily count a dozen cranes that are up. This city has evolved and grown by leaps and bounds. So it's an exciting time to be in Toronto and, and uh, I really don't regret moving from Montreal to Toronto. I mean life is a series of opportunities and uh, you know you have to be ready uh, when a great opportunity comes your way and I've been very fortunate. Uh, so right now it's almost like the next chapter uh, I'm transitioning from um, what I did before which was cover CTVs in fashion and it's also creating opportunities and doing something that you you're passionate about that you really like. So, um, yeah, so I, I just want to continue uh, on this road and see where it leads. I think the best advice is just to create opportunities. Uh, create opportunities for yourself and um, interning, uh, connecting with people on social media, you know, going out there, going to events, uh, find, find a mentor, you know, find someone that you would like to emulate someone that you respect in the industry and offer your services. You know, go to college, go to university. That shows a, a serious level of commitment as opposed to, I like fashion. You know, you want to put in the years. You want to show that, that you are dedicated and it's not just a whim. It, it's a, it's a, a lifelong dream and it's a career that you want to pursue. So, so go to university, go to college. If nothing else, it shows a level of commitment and uh, just get yourself out there. You are very fortunate to be watching videos on fanique.com.